Hello everybody, my name is Ross and welcome back to another Ross Talks. In recent events, there's been a little bit of drama within the anime community. I'm just gonna say anime community because it's portraying directly to anime and it's mostly in the anime community. I don't think it's like spread or anything, but I hope it's not like false information. Maybe it affects other groups as well, but I'm pretty sure at least so far it's in the anime community. And this is specifically portraying to like localization or more exactly people which are like called localizers because they like take care of this localization and basically doing that for anime. And since anime is something which I hold dear and I like, I decided to kind of like take a look at a video from like a guy which kind of started to cover this entire thing. I don't want to basically do my own thing, like my own research and stuff like that. And I found this person which... Like, I, I think he knows what he's talking about and he's covering this a lot more into depth than I could. And I decided to like take a look on this video and just basically add my commentary and just like kind of go from that point and just like see if I can further extend like a conversation or just like basically take a look to see what he has to say. I was aware of localization before, but I didn't know it play like such a like key or I guess like important role into like when it comes to basically like doing dubs. I've never been like such a big fan of dubs to begin with, so that's why probably I'm not huge or like aware of this being a thing to begin with. I'll give my reasons later for anyone who is curious like why I'm not into like dub over sub I guess and I'll talk a little bit about that. And also this is like opening an op or like a perfect opportunity for me to like talk a little bit about that because I didn't want to do like an episode on that specifically. Which I might do or not, we'll see in the future, but I do want to talk about like specifically dub versus sub and why like specifically I like sub more than dub. Okay, so before I'm rambling like a madman, let's go to the channel and specific questions so we have like a better understanding and then I'll explain to you more then so we can actually understand what the hell is this about, right? So as per normal, I made myself a little bit smaller so you can actually, you know, see me, but uh, you can actually see my screen as well. Uh, the channel I'm talking in question, you're gonna find the link in the description, please go check the channel out, it's like making some really good content. I usually, you, you're gonna see that I'm not watching, like I have clicked on this one here, I'm not watching too many videos from this channel because I usually don't watch videos from this channel, I have my, my own personal channel which I'm using to watch content, so I'm not using this channel specifically, but the video we're gonna watch today is this video here which is named Mock Voice Actor Calls Anime Fans Nazis for Wanting Accurate Translations. So basically, this whole thing started from like, you know, translating, because this is what localizer do. Actually, let, let's go look into what localizer is, right? If we look up like what is a localizer in anime, we're probably not going to find anything as I did here, but like it's explaining what localization is. Within an anime localization, you will need to factor in culture differences and alter your translation to match affecting areas such as dialogue, titles, visuals, and more. All of this is performed in an effort to aid the audience's understanding of the material. So what these people are doing for short, it's that they take specific things or like nuances which are specific to a language, like in this case like Japanese, and they translate that, they make sure that translates or just like represents the language right because if you go into a language right there's like jargon which is a thing you have i think idio idioms i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right i'm not native to english but i'm trying so we have those words and then like we have all kind of like expressions and things which we do and it's like specific like portrait to a language even like sounds to some extent like the specific cultures for example like my culture like we use Hmm, or mm -hmm. like we use that type of noise to like express specific things or like asking a question and if you're not native to the language uh, until you learn that it's kind of like difficult so like Japanese people have that too and sometimes we have like like going back to the idioms like we have expressions of like a specific sentence it can mean something but it means something only to that specific language and it's hard to translate to other language because it doesn't make any sense so the, the localization team or like localizer, I think that's what they're doing. And now to give a little bit of like short background before we dive into this video, because there's more videos on this channel, I, and I encourage you to go like basically check these videos yourself and watch them all. This person, it's like, 
recently covering drama which is like surrounding these localizers where it came out that these people are actually putting their own opinion and they're like inserting themselves into these translations and they're doing like a really poorly job they're not actually like translating like you can see it here like uh, on my screen real art localizer and then like localizer just like basically it's a meme right it's putting like a nose of like squidward on like a statue it's like just adding themselves into the translation they change stuff even though it's not okay because obviously they don't give you accurate translations they give you their own versions and their own opinions and stuff like that so yeah basically people are really mad because this is happening and there's a few videos on this channel go ahead and check them but we're gonna watch this one today i know i talk a lot and usually i talk like really fast and try my best to like not do that but it's kind of hard i'm used to like talk really fast in my native language and i know it doesn't translate too well when it comes to english and it's making me harder to be understood so i'm trying to, to talk clear basically but it's hard sometimes hey what's up guys right here so today we have another round of localizer related drama to cover that shows that these localizers not only have no respect for anime and manga, they don't even have respect for their own fans. And that will be highlighted in a clip that we'll watch later in this video, where a voice actor for the infamously bad Dragon Maid localization will be confronted with a question about fans who are upset about mistranslations. Their response to that will to be call anyone who finds mistranslations to be bad, uh, they'll call them a virgin and a Nazi of course. and a misogynist and that they are not welcome in the end you don't like bad translations you're like a nazi and a virgin and you don't belong in the anime community of course of course anime community yes it is some wild stuff we'll see in a, just a bit here but let's remind ourselves how we got here a quick recap of everything so about a week ago okay so here we get like a recap i'm gonna let the recap play i'm gonna try to like edit this down and cut stuff which is basically not really necessary for me to be here or like at least i don't have anything to say about it but like i need to also like leave what's important in context so you have like a better understanding of what's going on i'm not gonna leave that in but i'm gonna give here like a brief summary um uh, because i remember now too from like watching the previous videos like this started because of like the threat of the ai basically replacing the localizers it's it's like basically what happened and that's where it started and I've covered in videos like this, there's been a, a lot of conversation about this over the past week. And in videos like this, I have pointed out this example of a bad localization. And this is what like basically made it like worse. And I think this person like, like this. he's showing here. And this person right here is the localizer, which basically I, I believe is the localizer who's responsible for this. Uh, the next following basically bad uh, translation basically been a and in videos like this i have pointed out this example of a bad localization now there's dozens of these types of examples i could give but i always use and this one is horrible and we're gonna go watch uh i'm gonna look for the clip so we're gonna basically watch that together as well for exactly this scene blatant and egregious bad localization you can ever see it Everyone is sees this pesky patriarchal societal demands quote <laughs> okay let's let's read it and then let's go watch the uh the, the clip basically okay so let's take it from the beginning because i'm clearly my brain is not working properly it's like 5 a.m in the morning so and this is from miss kobayashi dragon's maid you can see it here it's an anime which is i saw it it's it's really good to be honest i enjoy it and i think it's kind of funny and cute at the same time so it's a nice anime so we have like toru and then we have lukola which are like two characters in the in the anime and then there's like the subversion and then fun animation dub so here we have like what's with that outfit toru is saying that then we have lukawa everyone was always saying something to me so i tried tuning uh, tu tuning down the exposure how is it i, I guess she's talking about like usually how i think her breast i think she's wearing like some some stuff and her breast is like more visible i i don't really know but probably something similar you should try changing your body next okay and then the fun animation dub, um, Toru, what are you wearing that for? Lukola, oh, the pesky patriarchal societal demands were getting on my nerves, so I changed clothes. Toru, give it a week, uh, they'll be begging you to change back. Great, yeah, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> the pesky patriarchal societal demands. Okay, so I did not even need to read it because someone already made a clip about it basically and just like made a comparison here so we can watch it together. Differences between Kobayashi-san 
Chino made Dragon sub uh, versus end dub, basically. Just not versus, it's just dub, end dub. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> what are you wearing that for? Oh, those pesky patriarchal societal <laughs> demands were getting on my nerves. So I changed clothes. Give Lovely. it a week, they'll be begging you to change back. Huh? Okay. Cool. Okay, so now that we saw that, we have a little bit of more context of, like, you know, what's the difference why people are getting pissed, right? Because this is obviously not something new, it happened a lot and, and people just now kind of like I guess are starting to catch up with it or just be more pissed about it. And other people would come across this and talk a lot about that mistranslation in particular because Asmongold would react to my video. Yeah, uh, here just a note, I also saw like Asmund react to, to this video specifically and that's how I got to it as well. But one thing is definitely for sure, his audience is not as familiar with anime and manga as an audience like mine, for example, and we've been talking about these bad localizations for a very long time, but people like Asmongold and a lot of his fans, they're not really aware of this stuff, so... Okay, so here is like something interesting that basically this person said, it's that this, it's like a topic which has been talked uh, from like a long time ago, or like, it's just a, a topic which was discussed basically before. And yeah, this is like new to me as well. And I'm glad like, you know, Asmon did this like video and just like connected to it. Like to be fair, like I said, I'm not a huge, like big fan of like dub. I'll probably explain that towards the end of the video because I don't want to go into it right now. But even like, you know, people who want to watch dub, I don't have anything against that. And they should be able to watch that being translated, you know, like note to note or just like being translated um like properly so people understand what's happening and not interpret that wrong and just like not have uh someone's opinion fed to them basically right it was so outrageous to him he literally didn't believe it was real until he found out that yes it is very real and his reaction is priceless I i'm gonna leave like asmund's also reactions here reaction here because like it's priceless and did in the localization it says oh those pesky patriarchal societal demands were getting on my nerves no wait that's great or what is this true you can find yeah, the clip on youtube it's true coming <laughs> you watched it too as well it's funny as hell oh those pesky patriarchal societal demands were getting on my nerves so i changed clothes <laughs> give it a week they'll be begging you to change back huh you can come on in if you want I love his reaction. He's just like dumbfounded. <laughs> like, and this is like real, right? Like this is it. It's it's like I I refuse to fucking believe <laughs> it. That's awful. Like what? How did that how did that happen? And the person responsible for delivering that okay. pesky patriarchal societal demand line is Jamie Marchi. And if you look at her bio, you can see she was responsible for doing the. In this case, from what I'm able to understand. And from what I was watching, like, as one goal also talk about it. Because I was thinking the same, like, oh, if it's the voice actress, then the voice actress, it's not really responsible for the localization, is it? But apparently I was wrong, and I think he was wrong on that point too, because apparently from what I can get, I'm not sure if it's going to be for the discuss here, we'll see in a moment. Uh, it's that basically these people also, like, take care of the localization and the voice acting on that part. So, really confusing, but, you know. She makes it sound like she was the one responsible for making those changes and coming up with that dialogue. So... Okay, so that's where it's coming from. Like, uh, she makes it like she's the one who, who basically directed that localization or took care of that localization. Which kind of sounds like... You know, I don't want to sound sexist or anything like that. I had other videos covering and talking about like patriarchy as well. But usually you see women talk about it, right? You don't see men alone talk about patriarchy and stuff like that, so... And basically, this clip is, as they say, beyond human comprehension. Yeah, that clip right here wanted to, like, you know, prompted me to make this video and just, like, talk about it, basically. Because the clip, it's, like, just, yeah, indeed, beyond human comprehension. The things she's going to say in response to a simple question about mistranslations will blow your mind. So let's have a listen together. Okay, I was looking for the person with the post, basically, to see if I can find a clip, but I was not able. So maybe I'll just, you know, we'll just watch this. I think I'm just going to boost a little bit, like, the volume in editing. It is what it is, but I'm not able to find a clip on my own, so, yeah. It's a stroll of power, and I appreciate it. 
<laughs> well, uh, I'm kind of scared to ask this question now because I don't want to bring them in the room. Um, oh, so okay. this is more directed at Jamie. Can answer. Go, Jamie. Go. You I'm excited like, about uh, it. I'm James ready to bring down the room. Let's do we it. We need a spotlight. Um, so Funimation has come up. Yeah, so from, my, from my understanding, just to clear a little bit of the thing, it's like this is like my Hero Academia cast because because some of the women which are like in the same, you know, translation or localization or whatever, like, or the voice acting or characters in my Hero Academia cast are also like in Miss Kobayashi. And I think the person which I think it's here, I'm not sure, the person which is answering stuff, uh, it's the one responsible responsible for the localization. Also, from what I saw, like on the channel of like Rev, when in the beginning when we just like opened the channel, there's like a follow up video to the situation. So this is getting like pretty big. I think like people in Japan like also like are, are unhappy with this, or like fans in Japan are basically are unhappy with this. So maybe we're gonna do a follow up to that. But so far, let's uh, let's keep this going. I'm under let's call it criticism oh, for criticism. how they choose to adapt their scripts oh, for like a couple of shows. Hate. Yeah, got it. Yeah. So you can see immediately playing the victim and deflecting any sort of criticism. So they're being asked about Funimation facing criticism for what will be mis- Yeah, and they call it unnecessary hate fun. Translations, and she immediately characterizes this criticism as unnecessary hate. So basically, someone calls you out for like something stupid that you did or just like literally botching translations and then you just call it on a city hate okay and a lot of that i feel is directed at you unfairly thank and, you uh, <laughs> so how, how would you like to respond to that kind of criticism to the criticism like i have a vagina deal with it <laughs> how do you respond to people your customers and fans being upset about mistranslations. That just hurt my brain. I have a vagina. Deal with it. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> Her response is, I have a vagina. Deal with it. I feel like they're going to sell that on a cup or something, like uh, cis male tears or something <laughs> like that. But yeah, that's her response to, why are you guys providing mistranslations? How old was this person? Okay, I, I went back to see. This, this person is 46. 46 and then her answer to some criticism to some criticism was I have a vagina deal with it Like It's honestly that's the truth and you hear people clapping and cheering for that stupid Remark you're 46 and your answer to some criticism It's like I have a vagina deal with it and you hear people clap of course. I, I know where they are obviously people who came in here they support their work and they're probably fans of these people, you know, they like their work and that's why they're here and that's why they're clapping. But I don't know, if we're like that level of, I don't know, like toddler, that that's even a proper answer to be like considered. It's just, she, like I said, she's like twice my age, I guess. Not even twice my age, close twice my age, but yeah. I am a woman. I am a funny woman. We are all talented, funny. No woman who was ever funny, she said, I'm a funny woman. Like, no one that's actually funny says that. If you're funny, you just show it. And the bad translation, it's not funny. Funny, powerful women. Powerful women, yeah, yeah. You're just, like, insecure as fuck, I guess. If someone has to tell you they're funny like this, I don't know. It's, it's showing some insecurity. But, again, in case this wasn't abundantly clear... I like how we share basically the same opinion. This has to do with the fact that Jamie is a woman. None of this has to Exactly, that's the problem. Like, she's using this, like, imaginary problem to deflect, like, real criticism. Like, you know, the real problems which, is, which are occurring because basically what she did. People are not mad because you're a woman. They're mad because you delivered one of the most embarrassing localizations of all time. Yep. And people you support are actively providing mistranslations of other works in anime and manga. That's what people are upset about, not the fact that you're a woman. That is a deflection of blame. Exactly. We are out here. It's going to happen. Deal with it. I'm sorry you're not getting laid. It's not about you. Move on. And now he's just going after people and calling them, oh, I'm sorry you're not getting laid. So basically, if you're like mad, with like, I don't know, a bad translation or if you want to talk about it or just call these people out for like abusing their power because that's exactly what it is. Like they're abusing their power 
a dude just gonna call you a virgin. <laughs> just straight off call you a virgin. Like you can get laid, and that's why you're not you're not getting good translations. <laughs> like what? Come on. This is literally like a meme format. You're you're facing criticism, and you immediately dismiss your criticism because the people are virgins. Yeah. Like right now, I'm a married man. I don't like these localizations. I don't like these mistranslations. Now what? Are you gonna have like a blue screen in your brain or something? Like, did I I I crash the simulation? It's probably probably gonna trigger. Like, if someone would have like an adult conversation with this person and told her, like, let's say if the company would take her apart and just fire this person and talk to her and tell her like exactly why, she's probably gonna have like a meltdown. And then he's like, oh, I, you, you guys hate women in power and stuff like that. Like, no, no one does that. You're just being stupid and unreasonable. <laughs> and that's the main reason. This, this is such a petty and ridiculous response to it is. valid criticism. That's my reaction. All right. Oh, All right. yeah, girl. You go, girl. You get them, girl. <laughs> you, you call them bunch of loser virgins. Nice. <laughs> get them, bro. Like... What world are we living in? Anybody else have anything to add? To I think you nailed it. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank Definitely you for allowing it, yeah. me to say that. Amazing. Simply amazing. Hello. You get a lot of hate online? Oh my god, it's ridiculous. I'm I wonder why you're getting a lot of hate online. Bro, like, this, these people are not fucking real, I swear to god. It's just like, every time I see something like this, or there's like new stuff, like, coming out, and just like, you see some people and you're thinking like they, there's no way these people exist and they do <laughs> they do sorry I but also like she just told me that happened oh yeah we'll talk about it later but here's my feeling anytime i make like if i'm making there's more about it and this guy had like a question he came here was like do i go now <laughs> is my turn <laughs> What the hell, man? What the hell? Misogynists and Nazis <laughs> angry, then I'm doing all right. Oh, oh, misogynists and Nazis. So if someone criticizes you for a mistake that you do, and it's proven that you did, like, you know, you did that, not even a mistake, it's like intentionally, you're doing something intentionally, you're doing like a bad job, and people are complaining about the translations basically being botched. So what do you do? You call them virgins, losers? And then you call them Nazis and misogynists, because of course they hate women, right? Like, that's the reason they do that. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? She's so predictable. So predictable. Ladies and gentlemen, is it supporting Nazis? Are you a Nazi for wanting proper translations yep. in anime and manga? Does that make you a Nazi yep, or a proper. bigot? <laughs> Oh my god, I, imagine watering down those terms so much to the point where yeah. something like Nazi means wanting Luqua from Dragon Maid to not talk about pesky <laughs> patriarchal society yep. societal demands. Man, like, I have come to, on. Like, I, I leave this in just because, like, I, I love how he, we, we basically shed in the same opinion, right? Because it's true. Like, how can you just, like, and that's one of our most common problems, I think, with our society. One of, like, the most recent problems, like, in recent years. Like, a lot of people use so many strong words that they don't understand and they just keep like either self-diagnosis for example it's like a big issue and using this basically big words which are usually used by specialists or using words without actually understanding what those words mean like if you go for nazi like you just have to google it and just like look what the nazis did there's no way that you can compare it in, in like not even bringing it into like an anime thing. And then you want to talk like about like, you know, like being a misogynist and stuff like that. Okay, fine, that's fine. But you, you bring Nazis into it. Like, do you even have like an understanding of like what the word means and what those people did and what happened in the Second World War? Like, I, I don't think they do. Like, I, I do think they, these people just like use this word super light because they don't understand what they truly mean. And like it's it's always coming back to that. Like, you know, you hear people calling other people like narcissist or like calling them a psychopath or stuff like that. But bro, you, you don't even have the connotation of the, what that means, right? Or you don't even properly understand it. And it's like a huge problem which is currently ongoing in our society. And people use like words all of the time like this. Oh, you you lied to me one time, or you just like, I don't know, maybe you didn't answer to my message one time. Oh, you're a narcissist. <laughs>
or a little pathological liar now <laughs> you know that's what i'm trying to say like these people just use words and like throw these words around like it's like hoopla basically it doesn't mean anything to them because they use it only to further their own goals and interests and they don't care what it truly means like you use that to dehumanize people like you call them nazis so everybody like it's easier to hate on these people because you know the connotation of the word but in the same time you just use it to like uh like dehumanize them and i think she used it here like in a specific very specific way <laughs> but i want to see if he's gonna explain and talk about it too Also, I said, like, you know, I don't know the gender of this person. I said he by mistake. If I made any mistakes like that, I'm not trying to be insulting or anything like that. We don't, I mean, honestly, we don't want them associated with our fandom. They are not representative of us, and they will stand out and try to own this fandom. And I'm like, you don't realize these are amazing people with lots of backgrounds and lots of different They're cultures. funny. An amazing array of, of strength so and power funny. within them. Everybody's they laughing. not represent the people I know. They are literally gatekeeping you now. They want to- Yeah, they're just gonna push us out of the anime community. I mean, it's not me specifically because, like I said, I'm not watching dubs that much. Or, like, not at all, to be honest. I don't even know when was the last time. I think Pokemon, which, to me, specifically, in Japanese sounded weird, and I used to like more the dub than the sub, but I think besides that, I'm not sure. Not only do they not respect the source material, they don't have any respect for anime and manga fans in general. And I think this clip is getting a lot of attention because of how absurd Jamie is. Like, this is an absolutely embarrassing response to a very simple question and set of criticism. Yeah, it's funny how she's literally trying to, to like, you know, gate people, block people out or just, like, keep them out of, like, community, in which, like, yeah, they, they might not even belong into the community themselves because they don't even respect the community or the people in it, right? But nonetheless, over the past 24 hours or so, she has been on a rampage on Twitter, basically responding to anyone criticizing her for that Q&A. Okay, so she went haywall and started like responding to everybody on Twitter. That's funny. Where she's trying to paint a picture that everyone who criticizes her is soft or a snowflake or sensitive. You'll see some replies like this. This person brought up the Q&A and they I don't see how reply to... Now I'm reading it, actually. I didn't even read it because I was processing what's going on. I don't see... How replying to comments on my own post could be considering bullying, but I'm sorry you're so sensitive about it. God damn, we're all snowflakes, boys. Said, I don't see how replying to comments Such on my own joke. post could be considered bullying, but I'm sorry you're so sensitive about it. It's very confusing. And then down here, she just dismisses anyone trying to criticize her as ragey, which isn't that what she said she's trying to do? She this is really... I'm not going to say anything. It feels really dumb, to be honest. It's just a deflection, okay? She's caught with a bad localization of Dragon Maid, and there's nothing else to it. She looks silly for her job voicing that character. But again, trying to brush this off as a joke or something... It really is, like, just deflecting. Just remember, if there are any line changes in any anime, any script, anything ever that offend anyone who unironically used terms like sjw and feminist agenda i wrote them yeah so i guess she's admitting the life that's kind of like she's a feminist probably so uh if people are like you know using like as the sjw or just like feminist agenda it's just like just doing it on purpose to like troll these people or just like like you know infuriate these people but there's nothing wrong with feminism if we're speaking about like you know feminism but like the feminists like you know modern feminists a bunch of them are just like brain rotten and i think in one of my other videos or like two videos if you want to go check on my channel uh, i think one probably was like on the topic of like why it's better to be alone uh these days and stuff like that or like single or whatever uh, i was talking about stuff like this still it's just like i know man there's like a bunch of people which have like brain rot these days this is a terrible look i don't understand why these localizers and voice actors and their supporters are doing this they look childish who would want to work yep. with people like this who have such an attitude towards their own medium and the people that consume it but anyway exactly they don't look professional at all they look childish as fuck like like i said in the beginning that's why i went back like in the beginning or in the middle of the video that's why I went back and checked, because she's like 46. That, that's like, you know, you're supposed to be like an old, old, mature person, right? And you're just like making these remarks, and you're just like, you know you're making a lot of people mad, and you're doing it on purpose. Like, 
what would you have to gain from like do you just like bait in the rage or like do you bait in their suffering i just offer a proper translation localization of it and that's it and even if you're doing it for like a cause you're saying oh, oh like i'm doing it or i don't know like i'm a i'm a feminist and i'm doing it because like uh, patriarchal reasons and like you know i'm trying to fight uh, the male propaganda and stuff like that even if you're doing that then like you're still not doing it by doing that with the stupid thing you did like it doesn't do anything like what do you think like some 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 cis white males like which are like really strong in power they're gonna give a shit about anime like let's be real even if they're watching anime they think they're gonna be mad enough to just like come and tweet at you or something like that the the people who are like tweeting is they're probably like just like really huge anime fan fans literally virgins <laughs> or you know like other other type of people but they're definitely not white rich people so yeah anyways that's gonna do it for this video another round okay that's the video here yeah, so i was able to find her twitter obviously because i wanted to take a look here and i found here like a post and i'm seeing i'm curious what's about yeah, so apparently the raging horde is mad about this quote from a convention panel with a bunch of women that was over five years ago and i just i just love it so much okay it's the same thing from the convention i'm not gonna read it again because we heard it i, I don't think she like i said this person is not 46 not mentally i don't think he, she understands the damage she's doing to her own reputation and her own career <laughs> i don't think she does but yeah it's a nazi not a real nazi until they kill someone asking for a troll no they're definitely not nazi enough for me when they start killing people in the name of the internet brain washing let me know i doubt these people will ever leave their basement though with that said it's more here that said this doesn't make the criticism of your work any less valid yeah that's true um but yeah going back to, to the thing like i said like the nazi word like it doesn't even have like you know like it doesn't have anything to it like you can't just like take words and like keep watering down to like fit your description it doesn't work like that it's surprising that she does answer people people like in this point like if you're just like like scrolling through here you can find like a bunch of answers and stuff like i said i'm not mad with this like my point was not to get rage or anything like that i think it's stupid because this person apparently it's dumb as fuck they can't take criticism like i'm ashamed they're like an adult 46 it's just a shame so yeah okay so there is a lot of like follow-up videos if you're like checking from that video which we just watch if you're checking above there's other videos exactly on the same topic and yeah it's probably getting even more ridiculous there's more there's more lies there's more stuff japanese users apparently are like outraged after discovering this obviously i'm not gonna watch them all so if you want to watch them yourself you can find the link in the description i went back in full screen so you can see my face and of course like because i'm a narcissist and a psychopath you can actually bathe in the sunlight of my glory and my presence now the reason because i keep saying this i'm gonna put it at the end of the video as i said the reason why i don't like dubs over subs is because i think even though i don't speak japanese i have a little bit of understanding of it i guess after watching like so much anime i understand some words and some expressions and stuff like that but obviously i don't speak japanese and i'm not gonna pretend i can do or like i can write it i tried to learn in one point because i was curious but like it's a really hard language to learn and if you don't have like a specific use for it or like if you don't plan to move there i don't think it's like you know worth the investment but usually i prefer to like you know watch subs because i, I believe the expression and the language itself you know when when it's like the original it's a lot better than the dubs and the dubs don't get me wrong some of them are horrible and we know a bunch of examples of those and if you look like on youtube you're gonna find like a bunch of funny moments for like old dubs or new dubs which are like really ridiculous but in the same time there's like some really good dubs which are like really nice to listen to and people can choose what they like and you know maybe watch something subbed maybe watch something dubbed it's up to you i'm not here to like be like on the war side of like you know sub versus dub it's just my opinion this video it's incredible long and i'm probably gonna have to trim a lot down i'll see how i can make it shorter sometimes when you react and you add to it and you, it's a conversation and it's back and forth and so on so forth uh it's gonna make like the video a lot longer than the original this video could have been just me like looking into the situation by myself and just like having you know some twitter stuff up and just like google stuff up and just like talking about it without actually watching this video 
But I think Rev did such a good job that it was worth to like, you know, try to, I guess, boost a little bit further his channel by, you know, making this video. If people are going to see, they're going to go check the original. So one, it's, it's bringing a little bit more traffic and at the same time, you know, I don't have a big channel enough to see, to say like, oh, I'm just going to like shout out his channel or anything like that crazy. Um, or just like going to give him like a boost or anything like that. But yeah. I just kind of wanted to like take a look at his work it's better that way he's better with what he's doing maybe i'll be there one day but for now it's good enough if you want to keep this conversation going don't forget to leave a comment down below leave a like subscribe all of that good stuff if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos like this or just like me talking rambling or just like watching something and reacting to it my goal for now is to like reach one 1000 subs we are at 600 and something subs so if you guys want to subscribe that would be great of course if you enjoy the content and if you want to stick around i'm planning in 2024 to like kind of try some new formats of content i'm trying to like do a few different things and see if i can like boost a little bit my channel and community here and see what people want to talk about watch or like you know just maybe even games or just like react to or and see if people are interested in and yeah as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye